Hey everybody, Brandon Boyd with The Brandon Boyd Show. Thank you so much for watching. And I am joining you today from the lovely state of Idaho. I am on a nine night trip in Yellowstone and we're gonna be zigzagging everywhere across Yellowstone. And I'm gonna be doing a review of our trip along with reviews of the properties we'll be staying at as well. So look for that in the future. And thanks for joining me for this week's edition of the Weekly Pointers News Update. And these are pretty simple. This is where I catch you up on all the news related to credit cards, points and miles, travel, money, finance, and everything in between. And these come out every Sunday evening unless travel interrupts that, of course. On one side of the screen, you'll see a list of the topics I'll be covering. There's a timer along with timestamps down below in the description if you wanna skip ahead to any comments content and feel free to use any of the links down in the description below to help support the channel with referral links that helps us keep going. We got a lot to cover all right. I'm going to tell you how to get five free Marriott nights. The American Express Gold Card has made some changes to its food offerings and there's a new Wells Fargo card as well and of course we're going to end the show with a really good food deal. Before we get started if you do find this video helpful or mildly entertaining don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notifications for alerts. With all that said, we got a lot to cover and I say we get going. Let's hit it. If you've ever been interested in the Bonvoy Boundless card, now may be the time to snag it because the Chase Bonvoy Boundless card is offering five free night certificates valued at 50,000 points per night if you spend $5,000 within the first three months of opening the card. And this is really interesting because you can also add on an additional 15,000 points to top off at 50,000 points per night with these certificates if you want to do that. So in essence, you're looking at 250,000 points worth of value here. It is important to note that these free night certificates are only good for properties up to 50,000 points. So keep that in mind whenever you're trying to use these. But this easily beats the previous high of 100,000 points as a sign up offer on this card. So if you ever thought about getting it, now is the time. Of course, there are some restrictions with this. If you are a current card member or were a previous card member within the last 30 days of the Marriott Bonvoy American Express card, or you're a current or previous member of the Marriott Bonvoy Business American Express card, or a Marriott Bonvoy Brilliant American Express card, and you received a new card member bonus or upgrade bonus in the last 24 months, then you will not be eligible for this particular bonus. And there's some other restrictions there. Just make sure you look at the terms and conditions and make sure that you're eligible for this. But if you ever thought about getting this card, now's the time to do it. Now, is it a long-term keeper card? Eh, that's up to you. It really depends. But for the sign-up bonus alone, five free nights, I would definitely get on it. American Express is making a change in their food offerings with the American Express Gold Card. Now, if you've watched my previous video on the American Express Gold Card, you know that I consider that to be the food card, and for good reason. The annual fee is $250. Yes, that's a lot of money, but you do get $10 every month with Uber and you can use that for Uber Eats. And then you can also get a $10 credit each month if you choose to use that for specific dining locations. The $10 a month dining credit can go towards the Cheesecake Factory, Shake Shack, Grub Hub, however, there are some changes to the other dining partners. No longer will you be able to use this credit at Ruth's Chris Steakhouse or Boxed.com. And I always thought the Ruth's Chris Steakhouse thing was kind of weird because does that really move the needle if you're planning on going to Ruth's Chris Steakhouse? Probably not because it's usually very expensive. So I don't think $10 a month is gonna make or break you. Probably not a big deal breaker for most people. The new options are Wine.com, Milk Bar, and Gold Belly. Now I've looked at Gold Belly before just as a delivery option for gifts and things like that. But make sure when you're looking at these credits, these $10 a month credits, when you're looking at signing up for the card, think, okay, $10 a month, that does help offset the annual fee of $250. Are you normally going to Shake Shack? Are you normally going to the Cheesecake Factory or any of the new options that are available? Just because there's a credit there doesn't mean you have to use it. So even though I think the American Express Gold Card is a good value for those that can take advantage of the credits, it doesn't mean it's right for everyone because just because the credit's there doesn't mean that you necessarily have to take advantage of it. But let me know what you think about these new partnerships down in the comments below. Are you kind of bummed out that Ruth's Chris is gone? Did you use this $10 a month at that steakhouse? Let me know your thoughts on this down in the comments below. Wells Fargo is essentially rebranding their Propel card and they are announcing the autograph card sets launch July 13th of 2022. Now as part of the welcome bonus, you will earn 30,000 points on $1,500 spent in the first three months. That's a value of about $300. According to reports, you'll get three times on gas and phone plans. This is gonna be on the Visa Signature Network as well. And this is a change from the Propel, which was on American Express's network. It's gonna make a change to Visa. But let me know what you think about this. I personally, I'm not a huge fan of the Wells Fargo card lineup. I think it still has a lot of work to do. But let me know if I'm wrong. Do you have any Wells Fargo cards right now? What value do you place in those? And how are you using them to gain value out of them? Keep in mind, we have a lot of new people that are watching the channel that would appreciate any of your input below. If you're asking for my personal opinion. I'm still not a huge fan of the Wells Fargo cards, but again, maybe that's just me. Let me know what you think 
down in the comments. If you were planning a wedding in Las Vegas, there may not be as much of a hunk of hunk of burning love there anymore because the company that licenses Elvis's likeness and image has announced that they are banning Elvis themed weddings in Las Vegas. Now this is a pretty big deal because Elvis themed weddings are a big part of the Las Vegas wedding industry and it is a huge industry in general. The Las Vegas themed Elvis weddings obviously bring a lot of people out, not everybody does it, but it's part of what Las Vegas is known for, but that will no longer be the case and a lot of local chapels are upset about this and the reason I bring it up on this channel is hey a lot of you guys travel out to Vegas and one of you all may be crazy enough to get married in Vegas I don't know if you have been married in Vegas let me know down in the comments especially if you've had an Elvis themed wedding but a lot of wedding chapels now are going to be moving to rock and roll themed weddings and not explicitly calling it an Elvis themed wedding so it's going to be interesting to see how this plays out it's losing a little bit of what makes Las Vegas Las Vegas I hate to see this but hey the licensing companies can do whatever they want let me know what you think about this down in the comments. If you're familiar with the Weekly Pointers news updates, you know that I like to end the show on a good food deal, and this week is no exception, and this week we're going to McDonald's as they are offering a 10-piece chicken nugget for free. All you have to do is download the McDonald's app and sign up for My McDonald's Rewards. So that's pretty easy, a free chicken McNugget, I guess I should say that's the official name for it. I love those things. I could eat them all the time. What are the best chicken nuggets that are out there right now? It seems like every place out there is offering either a chicken sandwich, chicken nuggets, something like that. What's your favorite place to get chicken nuggets? Let me know down in the comments below. All right, that was a fun show. I always enjoy doing these. And this week was a little bit light in terms of news, but hopefully you got some tidbits in there that will help you out. And the reason I put these together is because if you're like me and you travel and you've got stuff to do, you don't have time to sit there and endlessly scroll through your phone and try to find the latest news stories on credit cards, points, miles, travel money and all that kind of stuff. The reason I put these out every week is to save you time from doing that and I hope you find them helpful. If you do, don't forget to be awesome. Give me a big thumbs up on the video. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification for alerts and when you click on the Brandon Boyd Show, click, 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 you're going to get the latest information on credit cards, points and miles, travel, money, finance, free chicken McNuggets and everything in between and I look forward to seeing you on the next episode. We'll see you soon.